Hey, it's your boy, Bobby Beach. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Tariq is becoming a ghost. Look, bro, I was looking at these season three clips of Power, uh, book two, Ghosts. Uh, season three, and Tariq is looking more and more like his father. You can tell has how things go in, because I think uh, Michael Rainey even said on The Crew Has It that he does that on purpose. He implements things about the ghost character and try to show little changes in Tariq over time. And he's even gone as far as to say how much he's implemented even more in season three. And man, if you look at these photos that we've been getting so far, he definitely is implementing a lot of ghosts in him. Now, with that being said, it seems like what's happening is what we want to happen. Tariq getting his own crew. And the thing is, the Tejadas are falling apart. And that's also something that's being shown as well. This is something that we definitely can see. With Zeke falling down, we knew the Tejadas would fall apart as well. And with Tariq and now being who he is and his crew eventually rises, it's going to be a situation where he is eventually going to rise up to where he needs to be. Now, Monet seems to be a person who's going to be in Tariq's future regard regardless. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, it seems like they got their own little crew. <laughs> and believe it or not, it seems like it's Tariq, Brayden, Effie, and Kane, surprisingly. Despite all the things that Kane has done to Tariq, and they pretty much have something going on where they pretty much, somebody got to go between those two, or somebody got to take somebody out. Um, it seems as though this is the crew right here. Um, so with that being said, all I can say is I'm looking forward to season three. Um, we really don't know what's going to happen. We do know, obviously, the, the changes in Tariq character, and not just him, everybody else's his appearance are changing as well. And it looks more towards look of power, more of a look of growth, more of a look of difference there. And so right now, I'm only wondering to myself, who is it they're going, they're going to be beefing with? Who are they going to war with? Because the first trailer was all about war, all about going against someone, all about something happening. And you really don't need something like that happening whenever you lose someone or when someone dies like Zeke. So with that being said, I'm looking forward to what's going to happen. I'm looking forward to seeing more of Tariq being like ghosts. I'm looking forward to seeing where everything is going to happen because I really don't know what's going to happen with Brayden and Effie because you know there's that secret that they were behind. Behind Lauren's death is still there and Kane being a part of that. I'm not sure Brayden even knew Kane was a part of that. There's still the situation, of course, with Lorenzo taking down um, Zeke and you already know that's going to be bad. There's still the situation with, um, it's just so many different situations going on at the same time. And let's not forget what I think is going to definitely the big, be the big problem here. Sax says he's teaming up to take Tariq down. So with all that being said, there's so much that's about to happen in power. Um, book two goes season three i'm looking forward to it and we're going to be seeing Tariq become more like ghost even though I, I i i love the Tariq character for who he is the fact that he is pretty much his father's son and how he is a bit of his father is a good thing too but i still want him to be himself as well but that's pretty much all i got to say when it comes down to it i just want to say that it's your boy bobby b's here i just want to say much love much respect hold it down and whoa Hey, she will.